everyone, welcome back and thank you so much for watching. For today's video, I have a matte brown smoky eye for you guys. I think a matte brown smoky eye is so classic and this look is pretty much my go-to look whenever I don't know what I want to do you'll see me wearing this face. <laughs> and I also paired it with a nude glossy lip, so I think it just looks really nice and classic. So I really hope you guys enjoy. If you wanna see how I got this look right here, then please keep watching. For this look today, I'm gonna be using the Sephora Pro Warm Palette, and I've been really enjoying this palette. So for my crease shade, I'm starting off with the two um, peachy brown shade in the palette, and I'm throwing that onto my crease as my transition shade. Now, when it comes to my transition color in my crease, I like to build it up a little bit because I find that when I go in with the darker colors, I sometimes lose my crease color. So this is what I'm gonna be doing in the next few clips that you will see. I'm just building up the crease color a little bit. So it's the two brown peachy shades that I'm using and I'm just building up my crease color. Next, I'm taking the Sigma E35 blending brush. This is a little bit more dense and a little bit more tapered. Now I'm going to a darker brown color and just deepening up my crease. So for this, I'm using this shade right here to deepen up the crease and get it a little bit darker. So for this look, I have a matte brown on my lid so what I want is I want the colors to just transition nicely from dark to light so I'm gonna have the dark brown on my lid and then I want it to transition to a nice you know light color at the top next I'm picking up a dark mauve shade it's kind of like a purpley shade and I'm throwing that onto my crease as well to deepen it and I really like the plum mauve shade that it's giving. And then I'm just blending it out with my Sigma E40 as well. Just a disclaimer, there's gonna be a lot of blending in this look because if you want it to look nice and seamless, there's gonna be a lot of blending. Next, I'm taking the Sigma E25 blending brush and I'm picking up the dark brown shade in the palette and I'm throwing that on my lid. So the reason why I am using a fluffy brush at first is because I just want kind of a wash of color, I would say, on my lid before I go in with a shader brush to darken and deepen. So if you are someone who's not too comfortable using a dark shade, then I would recommend you go in with a nice fluffy brush at first and then pack on the color with a shader brush. It's just a little bit easier for me to blend as well. And then I'm also taking the Sigma E35, blending out the edges, taking the E40, blending out the edges. Just blend, blend after each and every step. Now here I'm taking the Sigma, uh, I think it's the small shader brush, and now I'm packing on the dark brown one more time to really deepen it up. And then I'm also blending with the same two brushes that I've been using. So that's just my little technique that I like to do whenever I'm using a darker color on my lid. I like to go in with a fluffy brush and then pack it on with a shader brush. Moving on to liner, I'm using the NYC liquid liner and in this video I kept my liner at a normal speed, meaning I'm not going to fast forward through this so you guys can really see how I do my um, winged liner because most of the time I fast forward through this step but I figured I would show you guys how I do my winged liner. I suck at explaining so I think it'll be better if you guys just watch how I'm doing it. And I'm extending my inner corner a little bit. So as you can see, I'm bringing the liner in quite a bit. It's just gonna accentuate the eyes, make them look longer. 
and yeah for mascara i'm using the usual it's the maybelline big shot mascara in black is black next for lashes i'm using flutter lashes in the style intoxicating i was struggling here because i cannot put my lashes or my liner on camera the mirror is too far and i need the mirror really close to my face when i'm doing my liner and my lashes but i tried to do it as good as possible but yes i was struggling <laughs> Moving on to my lower lash line, I'm taking the first two crease shades and blending it out with a small pencil brush. Then I'm also taking the dark plum shade and blending that out as well. Next, I'm taking this crown small crease brush to really blend out everything that I did on my lower lash line. And then also taking the Sigma E40 to blend further, just to make it look nice, seamless, and sultry. Then I am lining my waterline with this L'Oreal Black Smoldering eye pencil and then I'm also tight lining my eyes I love tight lining my eyes then I'm finishing up this look with some lower lash mascara once that is complete the eye look is complete and soon this voiceover is gonna be done and we're gonna move on to me just talking okay so the eyes are done for lips today I'm gonna be using Kylie Cosmetics naked matte liquid lipstick I'm gonna line them with NYX lip liner And on top of that, I'm going to go in with this gloss from Kylie as well. It's called So Cute. For blush today, I'm using this Milani Bellissimo Bronze Blush. I want to keep it a little bronzy today. Now I'm just going to highlight a little bit. I'm using the Nicole Guerrero Highlight Palette. Alright, so this is the final result. I really hope you guys enjoyed and liked this look. If you did, then don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I would love to have you here and I will see you all in my next video.